Hey guys, this is Jorge from the Big Band Podcast. I'm here with my co-host Adrian. So today we are going to discuss the dangers of creating the future. So last week we talked about what technologies or products should be uninvented. And that took us into a discussion about the pros and cons of creating set technologies and why they should be invented or why we have these, you know, shit, we, maybe this shouldn't exist. <laughs> it's messing up our world. Um, so, you know, when, in taking that forward, um, you, uh, you shared with me a video about a, what is it, like a, like a show? Yeah, a TV, TV show. show. A TV show. Black Mirror. Black Mirror, called Black Mirror, where basically, um, it's, it's about, uh, some technology that you, you put in your eyes and that records pretty much your whole life. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> that's an interesting one because it's. Um, you know, as, as you guys know, augmented reality is, you know, uh, a, one of the key key uh, technologies right now, and you know, most talked about, along with virtual reality. And what happens is that basically we we get to see stuff in 3D that's in front of us uh, that's not really there. So, but in this case, with this um, this TV show, it's it's completely different because what's it doing? It's recording your life whilst you are looking at whatever you're looking at. So it, it creates some interesting scenarios in all, in all <laughs> walks of life, um, such as personal relationships. So can you elaborate on that, you know, the specific one you mentioned? Yeah, um, we're talking about this because um, in our quest to find uh, a topic for today, we saw Futurism posted that uh, Samsung patented uh, uh, a camera for a contact lens, and I immediately thought of the of the episode, the Black Mirror episode, and I told Jorge, the episode is called "The Entire History of You," and it's basically the the you have cameras in your eyes that record everything, and you can pause it, rewind it. And you can even uh, do an Apple TV and throw it on, on the screen. So, I mean, it's a great way to share your memories with friends. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not the... the I mean, the whole uh, thing with the Black Mirror episodes is... It's a different story, but it all revolves around uh, technology and pretty much how it's going to fuck us up or, or the, the negative side of technology. And there's a the entire history of you is, is it's a perfect way of of painting that picture of uh, wouldn't it be cool if we had cameras in our eyes and we could record everything and play it back? And when you say that, you're like, yeah, that would be amazing. But this episode tells you it won't be amazing. I mean, <laughs> it's basically you should watch it, but it's basically a guy who starts over analyzing everything his wife is doing at a dinner party uh, with a, with an old friend. And he starts questioning everything and driving the wife a little bit crazy. But it pays off in the end. But the thing is, he, he got like so hooked on the... Oh, well, here's the thing. You can record everything. You're recording everything you see. It's automatic and you have a cloud storage of 30 years in the show. So you can actually zoom in the video, rewind it, pause it, zoom in. You can you can actually lip read the, the if you, in this case, the guy sees his wife talking to this other guy and he can't hear them. So the software he has in his head with the camera that everyone has, um, lets him lip read. So he can still know what they were talking about. So he he starts analyzing um, when she laughed at his jokes, why, <laughs> how she, she was looking at him, how she was looking at, at, at the guy. And I mean, he just got obsessed with it. And uh, I don't want to spoil the ending, but it's pretty sad. 
And uh, I mean, that's that's what we're talking about here today about how technology can destroy us or save us. It's it's just a matter of how we're going to use it and, and if we're ready to use it the way we're supposed to use it. Um, <laughs> I mean, imagine imagine we had that thing right now, you know, that that piece of technology in our eyes. Like, I'm just thinking about it. Like, I know it's going to record everything. Um, <laughs> you know, it's... It's dangerous, man. It's 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 kind of crazy, really, because it's you know I was reading I was reading about a article last week about you know having to upload our brains, our memories to the internet at some point, and this is, I mean, because this isn't this doesn't record what we're thinking; it records what we see. Yeah. <laughs> Um, at what point do we record what we're thinking of what we're seeing? Because that's the interesting part. One thing is what we're seeing, but the other thing is what we're thinking. Well, with that, you can actually go over it a million times. Yeah, and, and yeah, it's like reflecting on what you may, may, may have forgotten. Yeah, or uh, didn't see. Yeah. You were focused on something and you didn't see something. You know, you know what's funny? I just remember there are people who have this, I don't know if it's a, called a disease, but they have this memory that they remember pretty much everything. Oh, there's, yeah, there's yeah. not a whole lot of people in the world with this thing. It's probably like 50 people. Like the, the guy who the painted most. the whole New York City. Just yeah, by, just, oh, yeah, just drawing it. Yeah. I mean, their, their lives are completely different from ours. And I can only imagine if what it, what it feels like to remember everything. Like, I, I consider myself to have excellent memory. I remember pretty much anything I want to pay attention to uh, and stuff that I that shouldn't to also. Um, but, <laughs> you know, it serves me very well because I can tell when somebody, uh, you know, tries to pull a, a quick one on me, a funny one on me, and I know for a fact that, you know, <laughs> you're either lying or, you know, doing something. You remember. Yeah, remember that type of stuff. Um, but this is completely different. I mean, this is just a whole different ball game. I mean, going back and looking at what you saw, all these things. I mean, for for, for like what is what happens in crime? <laughs> it's uh, it gives a new meaning to eyewitness. Exactly. Like what? Like literally, what happens in crime? You know, remember the what was this movie? Ah, uh, the the Fast and the Furious, the last one. Yeah. They have this this scenario where. They have this all-seeing program. I think they call it the all-seeing eye or something like that. Remember that? Where basically the program can tap into any live live uh, CCTVs, these um, the ones that are active all the time uh, across the world, and detect when somebody you're looking for, you know, goes across, even whilst in, in, in whilst they're in a, in a car or whatever. But it can tap into anything, and I'm envisioning something like that, but here, but. <laughs> You know, when we can record everything through our eyes, like, was it, what, did this, what does it do to crime fighting? Um, <laughs> everybody's an eyewitness at this oh, point. Can, can the NSA tap into our feed? Imagine that. Hostage Imagine that. Situation. You have eyes Imagine inside. that. <laughs> then there's going to be people who, who won't want to implement that into their eye also. But yeah, I mean, the, in, in, the, in the TV show, the guy, the, the program starts off with the guy at a job interview and what he does is after the interview he goes back and watches yeah, it. he goes back and watches it but there were three people interviewing him so he like focuses on each one he goes through it again but he focuses on each one to see if he can find pick up anything that tells him that he's gonna get higher or not so um, another thing is uh, there's someone who decided not to have that so that person doesn't have any like can share memories and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, other people use it to share memories, which is like uh, the thing that Apple would sell you. Like you can use this to share your memories instantly in the TV. And uh, I mean, it, it it it's also weird because you could you would be able to instead of me telling you a story, I could just play it for you. 
and you'd be there seeing what happened. I mean, that, that's another thing that, that... Those are all cool things, but then there's what happens in the TV show that the guy gets obsessed about his wife and this guy, and he goes all crazy and shit. I mean, the, the you know, technology cannot take away the, the, human, the human element. Um, like, we were talking about the, you know, previously, in previous episodes about artificial intelligence. Like, uh, a, a fully conscious, um, I don't know, not not a being, but a entity or whatever you want to call these things. Uh, you know, the, the when 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 these things get to the point where they start acting like us is when they have our insecurities as humans. You know, fears and desires, and technology. You know, the type of technology that we create creates. Um, you know, situations where unforeseen situations. <laughs> Um, like, I was, listen, I was surprised, I was surprised, I think we mentioned this previously, but I think it was two weeks ago when, um, uh, Microsoft released Ty into a oh, world, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and it became like this, like this asshole <laughs> of a bot, because it was, you know, people were training them, people on Twitter were training him to act like an asshole, or training mm. it to act like an asshole, um, Nazi loving i i think i mentioned this on, on 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 that episode we were talking about that i said um yeah i did i did mention it i said i'm pretty sure microsoft had foreseen that mm -hmm. well it actually they didn't they didn't no i i read that in a blog post they, they put out um the, the the day after the whole thing happened and they put you know they put it there in writing the guy said listen we we didn't we didn't foresee this happening Basically, we didn't foresee people acting like the worst of humanity <laughs> and, and, and training a bot to ask, act like a fucking, like a fucking asshole. Um, you know, and that's funny. That, I mean, it's not funny, but it's kind of like ridiculous because how can you not think about the, the, the cons of releasing that? And I think us as people have these high, you know, when we're creating, I, have, I think we have these... We think about the utopia, but we don't think about the neg the negative part of it. Yeah. And um, well, because the negative part of it is hard to sell, but <laughs> but um, and it's hard to get up every day to do. <laughs> but I think about negatively what up you're creating. But it's the, it's a bottom line. It's like these things. If you create and I've meant it, um, islands or smart lens or whatever you want to call that, it's gonna have you know reactions unforeseen to the to the reason you're creating it and um, <laughs> those end up being the most interesting ones but then the question is should it be created if you know people are going to use it for to conquer the world uh, well you know I think I think there's always a a small batch of people who end up well there's a reason why innovation starts with early adopters um, and that's and, and it's also a reason why inventions do not get adopted immediately by everyone. So they, they start adoption starts in a very small batch of people, um, people who see who see the potential in that, and that's why I think most things uh, like these are somewhat destined to to be created. <laughs> Just because our curiosity will not impede us from not trying, <laughs> um, I think we're just at, to see what the fuck happens. Yeah, I think we're at a <laughs> stage it. where if it sounds cool, we're gonna create it. We're gonna create it, and um, Could destroy. Unfortunately, everything. a lot of crap gets created, but also off, after the crap comes the good stuff. So we need to go through crap to get to the good stuff, and you know these types of things are are things that. Um, you know, most likely, you know, in the military, a lot of stuff happens um, or gets adopted before it happens in, in the rest of society. So I, I would not be surprised if, th you know, things like these are already there. already there. I mean, I know, you know, SEALs or even, you know, normal militaries wear, you know, GoPros on their helmets and they're recording, basically acting like these things. So they use, I mean, they use GoPros, basically they act like, 
the GoPros on their helmets act like this yeah. device in the eye, smart lens or whatever. Um, and and there's there's a reason why they do that. You know, they can go back and analyze the you know they call it the after something about after action meetings, and so they can review the whole thing. <laughs> um, to see and that's if, good. If the guy really had a gun, yeah, and that's stuff why like that, him. yeah, where the room was, you know, all these things. But in in in, in the normal society, <laughs> it's completely different. <laughs> I mean, imagine that. I mean, imagine, and I mean, and there's people. I mean, and, and this 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 has been going on for a while. But I remember maybe six or even eight years ago, um, Justin TB was one of the guys who, who initially started this whole B-logging, um, which is basically, basically video blogging of his everyday life. Um, <laughs> but it's not, it's not, I mean, it's, it's more of a ongoing narrative where he's telling you what he's doing and where he's going and stuff like that, as opposed to just, to just kind of like, boy, you know, imagine we, you know, imagine we could tap into his live feed of his eyes, and we're kind of being like, you know, voyeurism <laughs> of seeing what people's people are looking at. But Justin TV is completely different because there's a narrative going on. They know that you are watching, or you are watching. It's pre, sometimes it's pre-recorded or even live. But oh my God, I just thought of something. First, I was thinking, okay, so there's gonna be real point of view porn now with the camera. <laughs> Yeah, but then you started speaking about what you were talking about right now, and I. What if people are gonna be like, "Hey, I'm about to have sex. Do you want to tap into my feed for like ten bucks?" I mean, it's gonna happen. People are fucking nuts, fucking weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And then they're gonna be fucking. I wanna give a shout out to all the people who are watching. <laughs> <laughs> or hey, baby, this guy paid extra for you to say his name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> say his name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you know, I'd be, I'd be more interested if you could, if people, let's say, we have this technology right now, right? We have mm -hmm. our smart lenses. You're wearing yours, and I'm wearing mine. And uh, I'd be more interested in, in, in people sharing their feed whilst they're interacting with me, um, for me to see that. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting way to see how people see you exactly I mean I'd be more interested in that than just kind of replaying what I'm looking at <laughs> I mean because there has to be a damn good reason for me to want to go back and you know and re review my whole day <laughs> I mean there has to be pockets of interest in there for me to go back and do that but just to I mean just to watch while I'm bathing myself washing my teeth you know all that stuff I mean who cares about that <laughs> you know what I mean? But if you, you're having interesting uh, pockets of interaction within a day, I mean, I would like to see also, you know, what other people who are inter interacting with me, what they're looking at whilst they're doing, you know, with me. I'd be more interested in that than just, uh, you know, <laughs> good looking, you know, tapping to somebody's, somebody's feet. Like if I knew that, I don't know, you are... In LA, and you are going up to Lionsgate Studios, and um, I would like to tap into your smart lens and see what you're looking at. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. For some fucking reason, that'd be interesting to me. But if you're, I mean, if you're just driving on the on the freaking freeway, like <laughs> maybe if you're driving, uh, I don't know, one of the executives from Lionsgate, he's with you. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, if it if has, I mean, now the other thing is, is, does this have audio in it? If it's just the live feed of images, it's going to be boring. Yeah. But if it has audio, oh shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a, a whole other ball, ball game with it's a different a reality ball game. TV. Yeah, it's a whole different ball game. Yeah. You know, because if, you know, if, if you put those, those two scenarios in there, the one where I can, you know, you can share your feed with me, but whilst you're interacting with me, like I'm interested in, 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 but then in you're the, not going to be 
you're not gonna be able to to pay attention. You're gonna be like, it's like an echo. You're gonna be well, like, oh, I, I, oh, my posture is like this. My well, left eye is like this. Well, well, see, see, here's the point. Would that type of technology or would that type of scenario make us act like better people? <laughs> I think out of if you ask <laughs> be, twenty people, hey, people are cognizant of these things, right? Not in not in Facebook because we all know Facebook is a bunch of crap. Uh, people don't act like themselves on Facebook. They think they do, but they really don't. It's filtered. Uh, it's filtered. See, that's the other thing. That's and that's another topic for another episode. Um, <laughs> how technology makes us act, you know. <laughs> like assholes, like, like idiots, or um, yeah, it's it's one one thing leads to another. Yeah, one I mean, like, what thing. if what if we could like I was like I was asking in the beginning, what if we could upload our memories, our consciousness, to the internet? Like, what then? I do. Do it. we start acting like we start? I mean, we we stop paying attention to shit. <laughs> I don't think so. Why? Just because, oh, I mean, some people don't cloud. do that. Like, they don't pay attention to anything. They just pay attention to, I mean, I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like I, I got friends who, who just don't pay attention to a damn thing. And while I'm with them, I'm paying attention to everything. And then I, I, I tell them what exactly what was going on. Um, you know, if we were having a conversation about some something what we're doing, I'd go back and I'd kind of tell them everything that was happening. They're like, God damn, I, I don't even know what is that. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. It's kind of like the same thing. <laughs> but the, I don't think they, they, they would pay less attention or more attention if you could do that. I think they would just be themselves and maybe not even upload it to the cloud. <laughs> See, because now I'm thinking like these things these types of technologies um there's a there's a book called uh, what's the fucking name of the book um it's about how how to, how to create habit forming products basically so the type of things that that he talks about in the book is apps in our phones so basically apps make us addicted to our phones right that's kind of like the and how these apps create these mechanisms to get us to, to click on this, to do this, to do that. Yeah. And but that it's behavior design. So yeah. I think, you know, what, when we look at these technologies, like the, the smart lens that we're talking about, I think we, you know, these types of things should apply to that also because it, the, 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 we are, like, if you go back in time and watch these things, you will look at your habits in real time. <laughs> it's hard not to. Yeah, but I think a lot of people don't have the time and I'm doing air quotes or the or the or the interest <laughs> yeah because they're gonna be like well, I don't have the time to look at at my day I already <laughs> went through it why would I want to look at it okay again? so so look at this way what if if we have these smart lessons and all these memories you know it's 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 it's, it's being stored and we we can share this with people who are you know, I don't know, with scientists, with uh, psychologists, and it becomes like a running memory, and they're studying what you're doing. You know what I mean? You know where I'm going with this? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because there's a lot of ways to look at this thing. <laughs> a lot of interesting ways to look at it. And, I mean, it gets me, like, like excited that shit. Like, to I don't actually wanna... <laughs> think about... But not, not want to have it. <laughs> the, the good things you could do with it. Yeah, I mean, a psychologist, he could be like, oh, have you ever been to to our offices? No. Okay, so the psychologist will want a um, direct link to your uh, past uh, five years of memory regarding uh, whatever topic, you know, your, your social life or whatever. And you could have all that stored, like, with hashtags, with tags. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that, that would be so, that would be, <laughs> that would be crazy, because then you wouldn't be able to do, you wouldn't have to do a lot of things, the psychologist can just do his or her thing while you're doing your own life, you're, you don't have to go every week. But would, week it, would it be interesting, like I mean, because I'm, now I'm, I'm really, really thinking about this shit. <laughs> Now I'm really thinking about it. It's very dangerous, man. Yeah. It's insanely dangerous. 
because it, it opens up a bunch of opportunities. And at the same time, because we're curious about it, we'll explore it for the hell of it. Yeah. But then we'll go back and say, damn, I mean, um, it's like, like the end, it's, I mean, yeah, it's privacy, privacy is out the window with this stuff. Um, you know, just, just like, just knowing that quote unquote important people will also be wearing these things. <laughs> It's like, oh, I want to tap into Barack Obama's feet. Um, let's see how he taps um, <laughs> uh, Michelle. <laughs> how often do you have sex, right? You know what I mean? Does the president have sex? Does he have time to do this shit? <laughs> you know, all these things are crazy shit. I mean, people will think about these things. Or like, what the recent thing that happened, the Panama Papers. Yeah. I mean... You know, I want to tap into the guy who's reading them right now. To the te to the guy or the, to the lawyers who put this thing together, you know, go back in time. I mean, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. It's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> you can relive um, special or historical events. That I'm interested in. Like if, if let's say we send another guy to the moon. That I'm interested in. You could relive yeah. twenty years from now. You could His be like training. Oh, like, yeah. Like like. Like, how does astronaut train? But seeing it from his point of view. That's entertainment. That all and, that and also, you know what would be really interesting, more, more interesting, is that if we could tap into its, the emotions. <laughs> like, yeah. if you start feeling like, like, yeah, like that example of the astronaut. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, mo I'm pretty sure most of us when we were kids, we wanted to be a freaking astronaut. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like a, like a standard scenario. Did you just have a thought about it? I mean, maybe maybe you're not really sure about it, but you at least you're thinking about it. And imagine that, like you could tap into, you know, uh, an astronaut's feed, and you can also feel what he's feeling. <laughs> I think that. I mean, supposedly virtual reality will help us do that, but I'm not really sure about that. <laughs> I think that's more of a personal, then the personal that, thing more that, than person would be like really 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 vulnerable yeah or or relive murders right crimes that's a whole nother <laughs> you know what i mean it's it's crazy yeah i mean it's crazy you have to relive that oh let me tap into this guy's feed the guy who got murdered and then there's gonna be the girl who got murdered let's watch into his feet let's or see what happened <laughs> oh my god that's just so disturbing well, I mean, seeing well, people a woman are get murdered, people or, are disturbing, man, and people will see someone get pay murdered. for this type of shit. <laughs> yeah, and some will jerk off to it. That's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> now imagine if this existed in dogs or animals. It's true. I mean, it's true. Eagles. Like, like in Africa, I just again, can I just imagine, like the conservation strategies with this stuff. If you put these things on animals. Oh my God! You could be like we started. You know, you see how what happens? We start somewhere and we ended up. We're, 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 in just, Africa take, we're just taking it. Yeah, we're taking it to other levels. Anti poaching, <laughs> and that's the danger of creating. You start imagining a bunch of shit. I mean, not the danger. I mean, yes, the danger. You start imagining a lot of stuff. You get very curious about it, and it's very hard not to to want to do it. To want to do it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we're we're excited about all the positive things but we haven't like thought of the negative well we we have we kind of covered it but i think the positive outweighs outweighs the negative right now well what what's like a yeah i mean it's very it's very 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 disturbing <laughs> But it's very, it's very, it's not often that people, when we start creating, we start considering, you know, how we would deliberately fuck up the world. This, yeah, <laughs> we just don't start thinking like that. I you, think every every new technology has that potential. Yeah, I mean, it ha everything has a pros and a con. Like um, Facebook and Instagram, they're destroying the world. Because yeah, because there was unforeseen things that we never we never considered. I mean, like Google, I mean, there's been wide discussions about, is, is Google making us stupid? Well, people become stupid themselves 
Google is just a tool. Yeah. Um, it really depends on on, on on person, but but then you have um, these things where you know they call it behavior design, where you can you know design for people to do certain things, and obviously it's to get more clicks to do these to these do these all these other stuff, but um, you rarely consider the you know the positives of what you want people to do, um, and that's very uncommon. I think I think, and, and and I'm gonna get killed for this, but I think a very specific company that I think deliberately does or tries to do the right thing is Apple. Like I don't have Apple. Well, I have an iPhone, and I, obviously I've used the you know the MacBooks and whatnot. But I I really really think that they their way of looking at design. Is geared towards really, really making it easy to people to be great at something. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're deliberately thinking. Let's create this button here, so people would become addicted. <laughs> I think we become addicted to these things because they're so damn really, really good. Easy I mean, and friend, friend, all these things. Yeah. yeah, as opposed to like all these apps that we have on our phones that they they're sending you notifications and do this and do that. It's just bugging you to, to do something, you know, create an addiction. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, how many apps can you really think about that you really think, oh, I really like using that one? It's not. It's, I mean, <laughs> games. Games. It's more like an entertainment thing. Yeah. But uh, I have a heart rate monitor app that I use a lot. But it's it's just one out of what. 50, 60, I have on my phone. Oh my god. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I think we can go on and on with this one. But uh, I think the bottom line is that whilst we are in a state of creation, it's very hard to consider the negative outcomes of what we're thinking about doing. Um, and every technology has a pro and a con. <laughs> I think I think we always have the 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 choice of deciding whether we use it we put more weight on the con than the, on the pros than on the cons, I'm sorry. <laughs> um but then there's just people who just uh, you know <laughs> would think of the pro the cons <laughs> more than mm -hmm. the pros. And unfortunately, well, unfortunately the cons are usually more interesting than the, than the pros. <laughs> 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 because it's all about messing with people but <laughs> yeah you know just just imagine that like that like the we you know before we we started recording I was telling you about this article that I was reading on the New Yorker about a guy who bought a motel back in the 60s because just because the guy is a is a is a voyeurism you know he likes voyeurism and he basically wanted a place where we could, you know, look into people's lives whilst they're staying at his hotel. This includes everything, like them watching TV, eating, having sex, fighting, everything. And the guy did it for about probably more than 30 years. <laughs> that was in the 60s. We didn't have internet back then. <laughs> not even nothing. Not even phone, nothing, nothing. He was a resourceful <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. Now imagine, I you know that today. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, like the first question. If I were like that, and I have a little bit of voyeurism myself, but not to that to that degree. I think we all do, <laughs> a little bit. But if I if I were me, if I were that guy today, I would be asking myself, damn. Where are the all the hot chicks stay at? <laughs> Las Vegas, L.A. You no, know, where the where where do all the models, top models, go to? <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> and then can we tap into the butler's feed? <laughs> the, <laughs> right? Because most likely the the girls are not gonna want to be recorded whilst you know in a motel, but. 
other people will want to be looking at that stuff, right? Hacking through the, their feet. It's true. I mean, I mean, really. I mean, people are are really really resourceful when it comes to these things. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and people will create the the solution to those desires. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that's um, that's that's something that steers humanity away from where it should be. Yeah, where it should be going. Um. So, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just depressed right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know. If you guys find this damn, I mean, and, and you should find this topic interesting, you know, send us a note what you think. I mean, if you're creating a technology or, or product, I mean, do you really take the time to think about the, the, the cons of it? I mean, I mean, really, I mean, <laughs> because I mean, we are, I think we are, we are entering a zone or a time where a lot of stuff that's going to be created is going to have more cons than the pros it's going to be amplified and why that because a lot more people have a say in it a lot yeah. more people have the the resources the capabilities to create more stuff to collaborate to do things and i think that's that's a good good place to be but it's also a bad place to be because you know as i was saying a lot more people have more <laughs> their hand more hands more a lot more hands will have uh you know in, in these things and and that's just uh could be good and be could be bad but a lot of people have bad intentions um <laughs> just talking about artificial intelligence um robotics you know things like these smart lenses i mean it's it just goes on and on and on i mean and, and we didn't even talk about the internet of things mm -hmm. which i think is is what we're talking about with these things i mean the internet when everything's connected and everything everything has a feed like laptops Things have a live feed on them. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen then? Yeah. <laughs> Who owns that? Who owns that 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 feed? Who owns that data? It's ha and it's hackable. Exactly. I mean, that's insane. But uh, you know, that's it, guys. Let let us know what you think, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll uh, chat again next week. Okay.